Here at Polyphenolics Research and Development, I have the absolute pleasure of talking with Dr. Anil Shikande. He's the president of Polyphenolics, also a leading researcher and polyphenol expert in North America. Today we're chatting about the benefits found in the core of a simple grape. Dr. Shikande, it's such a pleasure to be with you here today. Pleasure to be with you, you know, here too. So what sparked your interest to look so closely at the grape? Uh, I've been a scientist with the uh, polyphenolics a function of a uh, uh, very big large wine company called Constellation and uh, when I came to work here my uh, my inquiry inquisitiveness was always regarding tannins mm -hmm. and tannins are very important in uh, in the wine and uh, since 1992 when the French paradox came on uh, and became popular with red wine we started to look at uh, some of our large production facilities such as uh, Mission Bell that you have a lot of uh, seats going out and uh, red wine always have that phenols majorly coming from uh, seeds and skins so seed was the virtue of it and we said well we cannot use the red wine seeds because everything is gone in the wine but let's look at some of the white wine seeds as right. well as concentrate seeds. And that makes it really interesting. And you mentioned the French paradox. And of course, scientists such as yourself, we you know, look at what ingredients specifically may actually be uh, giving these specific health virtues, right? So many have heard of polyphenols, but tell me specifically what is so different about what's being manufactured here at Polyphenolics. Uh, Polyphenolics uh, is universally, you know, in a lot of uh, lot of fruits, vegetables, and right. all that. But really, I think grape has uh, uh, a different pattern. You can say a polyphenols, where you have what is called the procyanidin function. Mm -hmm. Procyanidin is monomers of catechin and epicatechin. But to certain extent, if the molecular size becomes very big, then it becomes disadvantageous because not only it interferes with your tongue and uh, what you call uh, uh, tongue uh, proteins and you start feeling kind of warm on your tongue but really later it doesn't get absorbed. So our focus has been to keep the base polyphenols from monomers to you know pentamers or something. So what would you say, I mean, appreciating all this chemistry and you've got such a great and very large mind, sir, what would you say is your biggest breakthrough to date? Uh, breakthrough has been to take those polyphenolics and start using it for health benefits. Right. And what is the molecular association of those with health benefits? So uh, there uh, the question comes up then, you know, what do you do biologically? So taking the chemistry to biology is the next step, and which has, uh, we have done that with uh, our one of our products called Mega Natural BP. And that's what I can really appreciate as a clinician, because ultimately I apply your science in a clinical setting, and I see the results. So can you speak to the development of your line, the Mega Natural line, and tell me about uh, some of its uh, specific applications? Mega Natural line was uh, initiated in about 1986 or something, but uh, Really, we had to take multi-step there. One was the grass, generally recognized as safe, mm -hmm. uh, that we had to get that kind of certification from food and drug. And then we started looking into the molecular chemistry. And the first one we developed was a generic grapeseed extract. But then we fa got fascinated with the structure and we said, well, let's look at uh, developing blood pressure thing because blood pressure is such a huge and enormous problem, health problem in this country which is something like 90 million people. Tremendous. Uh, and it, it, I'm, I'm saying blood pressure means going from prehypertension all the way up. So those are the problems I think should be managed by lifestyle, fruits and vegetables and maybe you know giving them a little more tool like grapeseed extract they can take in the morning and you might be. Prevention. Prevent. Prevention is the Prevention best is. way, you know, it's the best way to manage your health. Ultimately, why wait yeah. until you get sick? Tell us all about the studies that are looking at the measurable outcome of the mega natural BP line for prehypertension. Yeah, UC Davis has a unique system. Uh, they have a very large viticulture and enology uh, section or department there. And, and a very big uh, 
medical system with cardiology as the uh, primary focus and uh, cardiology is there. Dr. Capagoda has been working for last maybe 30, 35 years on the cardiology and his major interest is, uh, as Bryce, you pointed out about the prevention side of it. And that's how we connected to each other and uh, we said, let's explore this thing. And our product was ready and uh, they did the work, first one, they did with uh, metabolic syndrome uh, uh, subjects uh, and they found an effect, very large effect really when you talk on blood pressure, something like 11 on systolic and 7 or 8 on diastolic. And that really uh, pumped our energy up and said, we got to do more about this. So. Uh, I'm so excited about this. Of course, appreciating my first book, The Antioxidant Prescription, was all about antioxidants and how they can service us in the body and the prevention of the disease that we're talking about here today. Um, a little bit about metabolic syndrome for those who aren't perhaps fully aware. We're talking about elevated uh, cholesterol, lipids, triglycerides, blood pressure that's becoming elevated. We're talking about a girth or a carrying too much fat tissue in the body. And of course, blood sugar becoming to uh, you know, uh, go up and down yeah. uh, in that individual. So uh, what you're really saying is these polyphenols out of the grape seed specifically is controlling or at least managing a large spectrum of, of these uh, syndromes. Yeah. Uh, what scientists really see uh, in the beginning, let's say maybe eight, ten years back, on polyphenols and what they see now is, a, uh, is a quite a bit uh, different and challenging. The first one was direct absorption of compounds, which they always found, but there was always the limit there, how much they can absorb. And then Recently, as recently as uh, uh, a year back, we started looking at where are the pool of these compounds really coming from? It means it's a continuous process. You take seed extract, but uh, you see that uh, absorption remains very steady. And we found in the lower gut uh, some of these uh, procyanidines, which are a little bigger in size, they break down into polyphenol acids and that maintains a constant pool of polyphenols in the blood. So what we thought and what we now know is was different. So this way, uh, our doses of uh, grapeseed extracts are much, uh, much less required than what we were thinking before. So let's talk about that because I know a lot of uh, folks are interested in specific uh, dose regimens. Are we talking about a huge handful, uh, scoops of this stuff every day at uh, the, uh, the end product, the powder? What are we talking about in terms of... Well, uh, it's a very small amount, 300 milligrams a day. 300 milligrams a day probably, you know, is used by so many uh, drug manufacturers for their pills and all that. So 300 is not a large amount. And it's encapsulated, and put in a capsule, or uh, you can put in a beverage, uh, you can put it in a uh, elixir, so whatever. Dissolvable in a beverage. That's Dissol wonderful. That, that's our new uh, research going on there, and there's several large companies all, already have decided to move in that area. Because they're saying that dietary supplements are good, very good, we're going to do that, but can you blend it with your food products so you don't feel about, you know, that you have to take a pill every day. So really it's becoming that what we call nature identical or something like that. That's the area we're working on now. Who else should be taking these polyphenols? I mean, should we all be taking this stuff? Actually, it maintains your blood pressure. So if you are an athlete or you are a in a sports nutrition program or something, you should be taking that because it not only will give you uh, a prevention, means it will not elevate your blood pressure. At the same time, because of vasodilation effect and nitric oxide, uh, you may have a sustained ability to perform on a machine or your running or whatever for a little longer time, maybe 10 or 15% longer. And that become a part of, the, of what you call this uh, sports nutrition program and you see a lot of products in sports nutrition that's what it is i'll tell you something i'm a runner okay. uh, an ultra marathoner uh, i have a history of diabetes in my family pretty strong mm -hmm. history of that my father unfortunately passed away of a heart attack 
Uh, I am taking this as soon as this crossed my desk and my radar many years ago, I take it every day as well. So I think what you and I are agreeing on is aside from whether you're clinically diagnosed with a predisposition, uh, you're on your way to metabolic syndrome, or you're just concerned about yeah. your heart, um, basically all of us should be considering taking yeah. this every single day. One area which I think we have as a dietary supplement companies have ignored for a while, uh, in my opinion at least, is uh, giving it to you know young kids mm -hmm. who are just coming out of uh, high school or something. You see a lot of obesity there because of, of the fast food or whatever the nature of the problem is. And that area, if they start doing from there, that will be even better than you know going in the adult adulthood and all that. So true it's very, very, very protective. It could prevent all these things right there. So huge demand can be created for this. We are working on our uh, extension of these uh, mega natural BP. And we are looking at some of the things which it can do in the food products. Very exciting. It is. Tell me a little bit about safety and efficacy. I mean, uh, efficacy we spoke about, of course, uh, the brand extension of the Mega Natural line. Uh, but safety, just to put everyone's mind at rest. Okay. Uh, the first thing which we, which we had done when we had developed this program was to uh, test the safety. And first was the GRASS petition, which we filed to FD under FDA protocol. And there was a dialogue of about three years before we did all the work and we showed with animal, uh, animal testing, uh, toxicology, as well as uh, other programs on uh, genetic materials. In three months, when they did, their NOEL, which is called no, no, if, no effect level, was so high, something like 1.7 grams per kg body weight. Right and uh, you're doing 300 milligram, probably 300 or 400 full safety factor in order. And that tells you that it doesn't do anything there, right. you know, I mean. Super uh, safe. We're yeah. talking about doses uh, beyond the size of this room yeah. before we even thought you might. And uh, we have been marketing this product for about four to five years and we have not got any adverse reporting at all. And so on that note, tell me a little bit about consumer awareness. I mean, where do you think you are at as it relates to polyphenol specific to the science and research, some of which has come out of UC Davis, of course, uh, and the end consumer? Like, no polyphenol is the same uh, as this. What are, what's your feedback? Yeah, all the polyphenols are not the same. Some function as an antioxidant purely, uh, like you have teeth polyphenols, good, uh, no, nothing wrong in this. Cocoa, right. we're talking about, uh, but they're different. They're not going to give you these uh, endothelium dependent relaxation and all that. All, you might find effect, but it will not be uh, as great magnitude effect. So, why we get with this thing is uh, quite a bit of. Uh, flexibility of arteries. How would you like to see growth happen faster uh, for polyphenolics and some of the ingredients, the mega natural line and uh, your consumer? Uh, still dietary supplement is the number one area where a lot of companies are following the suit on this thing and uh, we, we don't directly go to consumer but we want to see that uh, some of our key customers and there's several of those large customers have started using this and uh, is uh, now it's uh, really spilling into uh, the beverage industry very big time. And these are not ordinary names, I don't want to mention, very large names in beverage industry. And my worry at this moment is how, if this all comes together, how do I provide them all this seed extract, uh, sure. Mega Natural BP? And we are always looking for our expansion. Uh, uh, when you look at Mission Bell today or tomorrow, and uh, you will see how much we can do because we are a part of constellation where polyphenol is, is vertically integrated and there's a large supply of grape seeds here. The good old supply and demand. Would you say that that's actually one of the biggest challenges that you face to date? Yes, it will be in the next uh, several years, yes. Any other because, idea, any other uh, commentaries how you'd like to see a uh, partnership, uh, you know, with the various science uh, that's going on out there or even uh, your, your suppliers? I mean, uh, what do you envision for the future? Uh, 
I and uh, more, more partnership in science, definitely uh, exploring more about it. So our BP program is finished. Now we're going in our next one is the diabetes, uh, pre-diabetic situation, glucose tolerance and all that. And then uh, there is a program going on Alzheimer's. So we are scientifically uh, progressing very rapidly. Uh, rapidly means in science, it's not a few months, it's a few years. Okay. okay. So uh, our consumers have to have little patience because we never release any product before it's time.